Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. <clears throat> and this is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. And I am Eddie Baby on Instagram. For all of you today, I want to take y'all to Harlem World up in New York if you don't know what Harlem World is. Harlem is in New York. And I want to talk about one of Harlem's world's finest. His name was Goldfinger Terrell. He operated from the late 60s to the early 70s, and he was the real deal out of Harlem. Out of Harlem world. Understand this. Goldfinger Terrell, and I need some of you old brothers from back in that day who might remember Goldfinger Terrell to chime in and tell him he was the real deal. No doubt about it, he was the Fab Five, one of them. Understand this, he was playing on the court when only five other brothers was playing on Goldfinger Terrell. If you want to see what he looked like, I've got a picture of him, thanks to Miss Jackie Morgan. He's on my Instagram page now, so you can see Harlem World, Harlem's finest. Before a lot of these year rappers was even born, a whole lot of you don't know about Goldfinger Terrell, but I'm telling y'all, he was the real, real Goldfinger Rail. Understand that. Goldfinger Terrell was definitely a heavy hitter and put a whole lot of Harlem World hustlers on. Chime in if you know Goldfinger out of Harlem World, a true classic hustler. Real deal. Understand that. Goldfinger Terrell was a dime and was pimping Harlem at that time and putting plenty brothers on out of Harlem. Understand that Goldfinger Terrell, one of the first brothers to do it like that in Harlem. We all know Bumpy was New York's finest and we all know that. But Terrell, I would rank number two. I'm going to put the brother up there because that's where he deserves to be. Bumpy Johnson is definitely, no doubt, number one. But Goldfinger Terrell was definitely number two. Only thing about Goldfinger, he didn't have no hella fine long, long run like the rest of them. But he was just as big as all of them. Understand that. Wasn't no show-stopping Goldfinger. Listen at the name Goldfinger. Sounds like a man handling millions, which he was doing back in the 60s. So recognize that. What you all just starting to do today, Goldfinger the Fat Man and all the rest, Nicky Bonds, Frank Lucas, and Frank Matthews was doing this shit 20, 30 years way ago. So I tell y'all, and I'm going to say it to all of you young hustlers again, Ain't nothing new up under the sun. You ain't doing nothing that ain't been done before. And the sad part about it, you probably ain't doing it as good as they did it. Because they were the best of the best. That's why I call them the Fab Five. Because that's what they deserve to be called. Back in the 60s and 70s, understand what they was dealing with. Extreme racism. All the things they were going through to put it down and still get out there and be the star of the show. Understand this, for all you Harlem world niggas, look it up. Goldfinger Terrell is one of the first, one of the first, I did not say the first, I said one of the first coming out of Harlem world, Harlem's finest, Goldfinger Terrell. That's what it was, one of Harlem's finest that day and this day, his legend is legendary. That's why you see me talking about him. If you want to see what he looked like, go on over there on Instagram and take a look at Goldfinger Terrell, the real deal. And as I say to y'all again, it ain't nothing new up under the sun. Realize that. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. And I had to tell you all about Goldfinger. To rail the real deal. Understand that. At that time in the 60s and 70s, Goldfinger was it. 
Trust me when I tell you, how do you think I know about it? Because Eddie Jackson, the fat man, said Goldfinger was playing on the same field that he was. Understand that Eddie Jackson, the fat man, gave Goldfinger all his props. Eddie, baby, Goldfinger was up there doing them in Harlem, baby, doing it like no other. Understand what Goldfinger Terrell was. He was Harlem world finest. He was one of Harlem's world's finest. And if you got any of your old parents up there and you live in Harlem and you're from Harlem, ask your old parents, do they know anything about Goldfinger Terrell coming out the late 60s and the early 70s? Understand that, the real deal. Subscribe, share, and like. This is <clears throat> Real True Street Crime, Eddie Jackson Jr. Subscribe, share, and like. And go over there and check a look at Brittany Simmons. She's over there on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Simmons Law, check her out and she will definitely help you out. Simmons Law, Brittany Simmons, check her out and she'll definitely help you out. Jelani's Tasting Table, world-class chef, one of the finest out there with the medals around his neck straight out of Baker's College to prove it. Jelani's Tasting Table, world-class chef. Top-tier cuts, 313 Super Ken for the weekend. And go on over there and check out Coney Island Chronicles. Coney Island Tony is Coney Island Chronicles. And you got to check out Matt Calf and Clarence Loud Delivery straight out of Highland Park, Michigan. Them brothers is awful loud. Get you some gummy bears or anything like that, or perhaps go get you just that loud Clarence and Matt Calf loud delivery out of Highland Park, Michigan. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to all. Check out Big Boss Film, Courtney Brown Jr. over there. Check that shout out, Brother Brown of Goldfinger Terrell. You got to check him out. Real classic, wonderful shot. Thanks for the picture, Miss Jackie Morgan. I appreciate you. Thank you dearly. This is Real True Street Crime saying subscribe, share, and like. I am Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Go over there on Instagram, I am Eddie Baby. And check Goldfinger Terrell out. And by the way, Motown Mafia Podcast is on Spotify, scorching them. Courtney Brown Jr. too. And by all means, go over there to Crime Town on Spotify Podcast, King Penn's Kids, and hear Ryan Gear Valley take you back in the day where the fat man, Goldfinger Terrell, Frank Lucas, all of Nicky Bonds, Frank Matthews was doing their thing. Subscribe, share, and like. Harlem World's Finest, baby. Goldfinger Terrell. I'm out, and in the end mother words of the fat man, Eddie Jackson, Goldfinger was a motherfucker. Understand that. In the words of Eddie Jackson, Goldfinger was a motherfucker. Subscribe, share, and like. This is Real True Street Crime, where we keep it real for you here. Subscribe, share, and like. And check me out on Instagram. And by all means, in the words of the fat man, Eddie Jackson, the magic fat man, Big Bear Cola, Mr. President, I'm going to be saying a lot of you all. <laughs> Go on over there on Instagram and check Goldfinger Terrell out for yourself. Subscribe, share, and like. Motivate. Do not hate. And if it help you, meditate. Don't hate. Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Motivate. Don't hate. Motivate. Don't hate. And as I've got to say before I go, this is that real, true, real shit. This ain't no made-up TV shit. Goldfinger Terrell was not made up. He was 
the real deal. Goldfinger Terrell, check out the story for yourself. I'm out. Subscribe, share, and like. And I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all.